Hello and welcome to Mute Gamer Zone. I don't have an intro, so let's just start. Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, Tabs, is a game that breaks the usual rules of strategy games. It mixes strategy, comedy, and chaos in a special way. It came out on December 17, 2019, made by Landfall. Tabs has become popular in the gaming world. Tabs is a game where you control armies of wobbly fighters in real-time battles. It's strategic, but also silly. You pick your fighters, put them on the battlefield, and see what happens. Because of the physics in the game, each battle is different and funny. Tabs has a lot of strategy too. You need to think about what kinds of fighters you use, where you put them, and when you use them. There are lots of different fighters, from cavemen to robots, so you can try out different strategies and have funny fights. Tabs looks simple but charming. The graphics are funny and work well, making each battle exciting. The game runs smoothly, so there are no interruptions during the action. The sounds in tabs are also funny. The battle noises and sound effects make the game even more humorous, and the music adds to the fun atmosphere. It's clear that the sounds and visuals in tabs are made to match the game's playful style. Deep Rock Galactic is an exciting game where you team up with others to mine in space. It's different from other games because of its unique gameplay and different roles for each player. You can play alone or with up to four players. Teamwork is super important. In each mission, you explore caves, fight aliens, and collect resources. Fighting in Deep Rock Galactic is exciting and feels good. Players fight lots of different alien creatures, each needing different strategies to beat. The game has both fast-paced battles and calm times for exploring. One cool thing is that you can destroy everything in the game. You can dig through walls, ceilings, and floors to explore or get away from danger. This makes the game more strategic because you have to decide how to move around the caves and use your resources wisely. Light is really important in the game. The caves are dark and you can only see as far as your headlamp and flares let you. It's important to manage your light sources well because it affects how well you can see and how the game feels, making it more tense and scary. In Deep Rock Galactic, getting better feels really good. When you finish missions, you earn credits and resources. You can use these to make your gear better, get new abilities, and change how your dwarf looks. This makes you want to try different ways to play and find the best strategies for missions. Far Cry 5 shows how good Ubisoft is at making big, exciting worlds for players to explore and have fun in. You can do lots of things like explore, make plans, and cause chaos. Far Cry 5 is all about shooting in a big world. It takes place in a made-up place called Hope County, Montana. You have to fight against a crazy cult. The game lets you do things your own way, giving you lots of choices on how to do missions and tasks. Fighting in Far Cry 5 is all about thinking and being creative. You can use lots of different weapons, like guns or bows. The game wants you to be clever in fights, like using the environment or sneaking up on enemies without making noise. The game's physics make things unexpected. Explosions can move stuff around, which can be good or bad for you. Animals, like bears and cougars, can also be dangerous to you or your enemies. In Far Cry 5, the world is full of surprises. Even a peaceful fishing trip can turn into a big fight with enemies, animals, or even friendly people getting involved. You never know what will happen next in Hope County. Getting around in vehicles is a big part of the game. There are lots of different cars, planes, and boats to use, each with its own feel. You can fight in vehicles, use them to run away fast, or just take in the sights of Hope County. Far Cry 5 lets you play with a friend in co-op mode. You and another player can team up to take on the story together. It adds a new level of fun because you can work together to beat tough parts of the game. Next game is Squad. It's a first-person shooter that needs both fast reflexes and smart strategies. Developed by Offworld Industries, Squad is mainly about fighting on foot. The game has had big updates to improve this, focusing on teamwork and making choices between factions and weapons more important. This makes the game easier for new players. Big thing is the suppression effect. This means you can use gunfire to control the battlefield, not just to shoot enemies. They changed how guns work to make teamwork more more important than just being good at shooting. It makes the game fairer and more fun for everyone. The game has updates such as proximity indicators, better ammo, visibility for vehicles, improved animations, and clearer name tag visibility. These updates make the gameplay more realistic and immersive. In short, Squad is great for players who like military simulations that need both skill and teamwork. Its gameplay is strong and gives a tough but satisfying experience. Whether you're attacking with your team or covering your friend's move, Squad gives a deep and immersive tactical world that's hard to beat. 
Metro Exodus is an exciting first-person shooter game with a strong story. It mixes fighting, exploring, and scary survival elements. Created by 4A Games, it's the third game in the Metro series based on Dmitry Glukovsky's books. The game follows Artyom, the main character from earlier games, as he explores the Russian wilderness beyond the Metro tunnels in Moscow. The game happens after a big disaster in Russia. It's 2036, two years after Metro, Last Light. A nuclear war destroyed the world making the surface dangerous because of radiation and strange creatures. People are living underground in Moscow's metro tunnels, trying to survive in the dark. Artyom dreams of finding a safe place outside the metro, where they can live without fear of mutants, radiation, or the metro's oppressive rules. He leads a group of Spartan rangers on a dangerous trip using a train called the Aurora. They're looking for a new home and a better life in the east. In Metro Exodus, the gameplay is a mix of linear levels and open-world areas, which is is a big change from the older game's narrow settings. Players can explore large, non-linear levels with both freedom and classic Metro gameplay. This setup lets them explore more and interact with the environment and characters. In Metro Exodus, fighting is really important, and it's all about being sneaky and smart. Players have to search for stuff they need to live and make things. The weather and time of day can change a lot, so players have to change how they play to deal with it. Exodus is an exciting journey with action, storytelling, and survival. It's true to its roots, but adds new stuff. Players get a big world and a cool story. Arma 3 is known for being super realistic and letting players do lots of different things in combat. It uses a physics engine to make things like shooting guns and driving vehicles act like they do in real life. You've got to deal with things like guns kicking when you shoot them, bullets dropping as they travel, and even the wind affecting your shots. Plus, there's a day-night cycle and changing weather that can make things harder to see and plan for. The game happens on two pretend islands called Altis and Stratus in the Aegean Sea. They cover over 290 square kilometers together. These islands have different landscapes like towns, forests, hills, and beaches. Players can use these places smartly when they're on missions. Arma 3's story mode, The East Wind, follows a NATO peacekeeping team on Stratus Island. You play as Corporal Ben Carey, facing a conflict that turns into a big war. The story is split into episodes, each with its own missions that add to the main story. Multi player is a big part of Arma 3. You can team up with others for missions or compete against them in different modes. The game can handle big battles with up to 100 players. Plus, players have made lots of extra missions and mods for even more fun. Using tactics is super important. You need to hide behind things, talk to your team, and plan your moves carefully. The game wants you to use real military strategies and gives you lots of ways to control your team. Next game is The Hunter. The game aims to make hunting feel real. It has animals that act like real ones, changing weather, day and night, and lifelike sounds. The wind affects smells, and the way bullets fly is realistic. It all makes you feel like you're actually hunting in the wild. The game has 50 square miles of land made with great care. It includes different types of places like swamps, thick forests, beautiful valleys, and wide fields. The world is split into hunting areas, each with its own special things to discover and remember. Players can do tasks given by the people living there or go their own way. The game wants you to explore by finding lookout points, hunting towers, and outposts. These not only show beautiful sights, but also help you move quickly around the huge world. While the game is fun alone, it's also cool to play with friends. You can team up or compete with up to eight players, having a great hunting time together and showing off your skills. In Rust, you're in a big world after the end of the world. There are forests, mountains, rivers, and beaches on the island where you start. The weather changes, like rain or snow, can make it hard to see or affect your health. Also, day and night affect animals and other players' actions. When you start playing, you only have a rock and a torch. These are important tools. The rock helps you get wood from trees and stone from rocks. The torch gives you light and keeps you warm at night. At first, you need to gather enough stuff to make a basic weapon for hunting and to protect yourself. You also need to build a small shelter to stay safe at night. 
Crafting is super important. When you gather stuff, you can use it to make tools, weapons, clothes, and building stuff. Crafting is pretty detailed, letting you make lots of things once you learn how or try different materials. Building is a big deal too. Making a base keeps you safe from the weather and other players. You can make a basic shelter or a big fortress with lots of protection. Keeping yourself alive involves managing hunger, thirst, health, and radiation levels. You'll need to gather food, find water sources, and watch your health. Avoiding injuries from falls, animals, or other players is crucial. Certain areas Areas on the island have radiation, so you'll need protective gear to explore them, but they offer valuable loot. As you keep going, you'll get stronger gear and weapons, letting you venture into riskier parts of the island. In the late game, it's often about attacking other players' bases, using explosives to grab their stuff or show who's boss. Keeping your own base safe from these attacks is a big deal, making it like a race to get better weapons and defenses before your neighbors strike. DayZ is a survival game set in a deserted post-Soviet place. Most people here are infected by a virus and turned into zombies. It's tough and real, making you handle stuff like hunger, thirst, and staying warm. Plus, you've got to deal with zombies and other players trying to survive too. In DayZ, the main thing is to stay alive. Your decisions are super important because you don't get second chances. You've got to find things like food, water, medicine, and bullets to keep going. You can pick apples from trees or get water from a pond, but be careful. Eating bad food or drinking dirty water can make you sick, making it harder to survive. Meeting other players is a big part of the game. You can team up to survive better, trade stuff, or even make a camp together. But you can't always trust people. Some might betray you. So, meeting someone new is always tense. Fighting is tough. Guns are rare and can break, so you have to take care of them. Fighting up close is rough. Sometimes it's better to sneak around to avoid zombies and other players. As you go on, you can make a base to keep your stuff safe. Making a base means getting materials and protecting it from attacks. If you find a vehicle, you'll need to fix it and fill it up with fuel. It helps you move around faster, but it also makes you easier to spot by others. There's something special about its modding community. Players have made lots of mods that bring in new stuff and change how the game works. These mods can include new weapons, gear, or big changes to how the game plays. It keeps the game exciting with different things to try out. And the last game is Wolfenstein II, The New Colossus. It's set in a different history where the Nazis won World War II. The game tells the story of war hero William Blazkowicz as he battles to start a new American revolution. The action is quick and intense, moving through different levels divided into chapters. Each level has its own obstacles, like sneaking past enemies or big battles. The game focuses heavily on fighting, offering players a variety of weapons to use, from pistols to futuristic energy guns. These weapons can be dual-wielded for more combat options. Additionally, there's a cover system to help players strategically strategically navigate through areas filled with enemies. The story is divided into chapters, and there's a choice at the start that changes the whole story. This choice affects the characters and some parts of the plot in the game. So, when you play again, you might experience different things. Wolfenstein uses the id Tech 6 game engine from id Software. This engine makes the game look great and run smoothly. You can smash things in the environment, and the characters look very detailed, making the game feel more real. And that is the end of the video. These prices are based on the USA. So if you live outside of the USA, you may get lower or higher prices, but in most cases, you will get lower prices. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. See you next time.